Ah, uh, okay. So I, you guys know, it's like that time of the year where you go for a walk and it's the sun's out, but it's still chilly. Um, and there's not a lot of people in my neighborhood. So I just had like the most pleasant little winter walk. And uh, now there's nothing better than coming home, having a nice hot cup of coffee and I guess opening some manga. Before we can go ahead and jump on into today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and pose the question, what have you guys been hauling recently or what are you planning to haul uh, in the near future? I know that as we head further into the holiday season, we're gonna start seeing some incredible sales uh, within the community uh, and in the various vendors that are within the community. With that being said, we have quite a few volumes to get through. Let's go ahead and start the manga haul. See you in just a sec. I have a very special item that I want to show you guys. Uh, this is actually my first import item uh, from Japan. This is actually a music book. So this is my first import item from Japan. Would you look at that? Absolutely no English. I mean, we're talking no English. Let's go to the, the table of contents here. I mean, there is no English. I, you, I mean, you can see that right here. This is actually a book of uh, finger style Studio Ghibli song arrangements, okay? I don't even know what song it is. I mean, there has there's like a screenshot from someone who was nice enough uh, to translate this online. Uh, so that's how I know what songs I I'm a learning, uh, but <laughs> um, yeah, it, I just wanted to bring this up because it is a book uh, and it is, you know, Japanese related and I thought y'all might get a kick out of that. So it's my first uh, import item from Japan, which is a uh, book of finger style arrangements of Studio Ghibli tunes. So if you'd like to hear me perform any of these, I recommend checking out my Twitch channel, which is down below. Let's jump on into the first box, uh, which is right here and let's see what we got going on. So we're gonna go ahead and kick things off with a series that I resonated with so much. I found myself having so much in common with a few of the characters here uh, in this series. Uh, and if you're on the older side and you have like a nine to five job or just an older otaku in general, uh, this might be a, a series you may be interested in. The fourth volume of Wotukoi, Love is Hard for Otaku. This is such a good series and the covers are actually really well done. The only downside about this series, the only downside, it does have a little bit of reputation for having a slower release schedule, but it's so worth it. Don't let that discourage you from actually picking up this series. Uh, I highly, highly recommend this series. Wotakoi, love is hard for otaku. Okay, go ahead and check it out. All right, I'm so excited for this next series. All right, so, I already have volumes one, two, six of this, and I can't believe it took me this long to get into this series, and I highly recommend it to everyone. It's so good. Can we just please talk about Grand Blue Dreaming? It's such a good series. So I finally am all caught up. Uh, at least I own all of what's out right now. Uh, so volumes one to 11 of Grand Blue Dreaming. Okay, this series is so good. It's about diving, but it's more than about diving. It's about the main character experiencing his, his college life uh, through the unique lens of diving and making friends of uh, people on like the diving club. Please check it out. I mean, if you don't want to invest into the series, 100% understand, but at least watch the anime. Uh, it's done by Aniplex, I believe, and it's over on uh, Amazon Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, it's on Prime Video. Can we please talk about this wholesome series, uh, Sweetness and Lightning? These are volumes four to five of Sweetness and Lightning. Um, this is a very touching story, I should say. At least from what I've seen so far, that was volume five. This is volume four, really quickly. Um, this story basically follows a a father who is recently, like the, the mom is deceased um, and that's where the story picks up. Uh, so it's about a single father uh, and his child and how it, it's difficult raising a child alone and finding ways to connect with that child through food. Uh, and it's it's a, such a touching story and I had to collect it. But especially if you're on the little bit of the older side like I am, this this series is really touching and I, I couldn't recommend it um, any anymore. I mean, it's, it's really good. So please do yourself a favor and check out uh, Sweetness and Lightning. It's right there, okay? okay? So for this next series, I had to pick this one up. Uh, it was full price, but you know what? I couldn't wait anymore. I at least wanted to get one more volume of Ajin. So this is Ajin volume number two. I highly recommend this series. Listen, listen, this is really good. This is like top tier. This is an incredibly good series. Uh, it's action packed, phenomenal mystery like Death Note vibes, sort of like supernatural things going on. Incredible, very mysterious, very action packed, incredibly well written story. The only downside, listen, the only downside about this is that these volumes are so thin 
they're so thin and look how big they are. I mean, my, I have big hands, but still like, this is a small volume uh, and they're expensive. This little dinky little thing of amazingness is like basically like a full priced volume. And it's like, there's like $11 just for this. So don't be like me. All right, get this on sale if you can. Okay, so this next series, I'm finally all caught up with. This is the latest volume that's out. This is a criminally underrated series that I think I'm the only manga tuber that ever talks about this series. Uh, but this is Hina Matsuri of Volume 9. Here we go, bada bing, bada boom. This is such a clever series and absolutely hysterical at times. Listen, if you don't wanna go ahead and, and just, you know, shell out the cash to collect this series because you're still on the fence, at least watch the anime and let that one be, uh, you know, let the anime convince you because it's, it's really good and I don't hear anyone talking about it. You can watch the anime, I believe, over on Crunchyroll if you're in the United States, okay? So please do yourself a favor, check out Hina Matsuri and if you're looking for a proper description of this series, uh, uh, the card should have appeared in the upper right hand corner. Okay, so quickly moving on. All right, so if you previously watched my what I've been reading this month uh, video last month, you would have saw that I've been reading uh, Yona the Don. Here we go, Yona the Don, 1920. This is uh, pretty much the shoujo that I'm reading right now. It's really good, uh, I highly recommend it. It's for, for a shoujo, here's 20 really quickly. For a shoujo, it gets pretty, political and pretty dark at times. I highly recommend you check out uh, Yon of the Dawn, okay? This one I was so excited with. It's always just like achievement unlocked when you can say I have a series complete and I've been waiting forever for this volume. Uh, but here is the final volume of one of my most recommended series to you guys. If you've heard me talk about this series once, you've heard it a thousand times and it feels so good to finally collect this series in its entirety. It's gonna feel so good to get volume 15 on the shelf of Silver Spoon. This is such a touching story from Hiromo Arakawa. This is such a good story. I've talked about this ad nauseum on my channel, so if you're looking for a description, I'll, I'll link some stuff below or a card should appear in the upper right-hand corner. Um, but really, really good. This is the final volume. Uh, I've stopped reading at like volume 12 or 13, just, just so I can have a little moment uh, to enjoy one or two volumes uh, before I finish the series of Silver Spoon. So I am so excited, okay? Uh, and if you haven't checked it out, please do, okay? There are times as a, uh, as a YouTuber, especially in this community, when you get recommended a series so much that you can't ignore it. And this series was that. And I started collecting it, and for the life of me, I couldn't finish collecting it because it was always out of stock. And now when I say always out of stock, I mean always out of stock. I mean, it was, I just couldn't get my hands on it, and I didn't want to order it on Amazon uh, full price. I wanted to wait for it. Uh, but while I was shopping at Right Stuff, I was just like on a whim, on a whim. I was, you know, it, I, I wonder if this series is in stock. And I checked it out, and the two volumes left that I needed just happened to be in stock. It was a magical moment. The stars aligned. Uh, my beard was trimmed properly. Uh, you know, it just looked, it was just a magic moment. And uh, I am happy to say, this series, again, complete. So that marks two complete series after this haul. Yes, is, um, oh, I am so, I'm so happy. I, Cause I, now I can finally start this series uh, is, is, is monster. And it looks like these are a little dusty for some reason. Um, that's okay, I can wipe down the, the covers, but here we go, monster volume seven. Bada bing, bada boom, dum, da, da, dum. Oh my goodness, so here's volume number seven. Uh, and here's the final volume uh, number. Yeah, these are a little dusty. Uh, I don't know why, nothing else is dusty in here. Interesting, uh, and here is volume uh, number nine. Okay, boom. Boom, oh my God, that feels good. To have, to get two completed series uh, in one haul, I'd say that's pretty successful, okay? Uh, so finally I can start reading uh, Urasawa's masterpiece, uh, which is a monster. So I will be able to uh, catch up with you guys and maybe have some discussion on stream about the adventures of, uh, what I don't even know who the main character is in here, Dr. Ten Tenzo Tenma, what, I, I don't even know, I don't even know, and I'm excited to find out. So yes, uh, I can finally start reading Monster, okay? Quickly moving on. Okay, so we're finally entering the last three volumes here of the of the manga haul. And you know what? This is a very special moment because this is me embarking on my journey into the wild, wacky, wonderful world of light novels. 
uh, and I started collecting manga with Tokyo Ghoul, which is right here. Uh, and I thought it would only be appropriate if I started to get into light novels with Tokyo Ghoul. Okay, so I didn't, there's three Tokyo Ghoul light novels. I only got two because there was a third one that was out of stock. I'll pick it up whenever. Uh, but let's talk about my two Tokyo Ghoul light novels, which I'm excited to start. The first one being Tokyo Ghoul Past. Okay, now I know these aren't canon. I know these aren't canon, uh, but however, I do know that Sue Ishida, who is the mangaka of Tokyo Ghoul, I know that he had the final stamp of approval on these. So, and, and I do know that uh, within the story, you interject these. So if there's to be read, like this one's past. So uh, this one starts before Tokyo Ghoul, the original series. So next time I reread Tokyo Ghoul, I will be putting these uh, in the reading queue accordingly. Okay, if, if that makes sense. So here's Tokyo Ghoul past, let's put this over here. Uh, and here's Tokyo Ghoul days. This one's actually really thick for some reason. That's actually nice. So here's Tokyo Ghoul uh, days. Okay, bada bing, a bada boom. And I know there's one more that I'm missing and I, I will pick that one up probably whenever it's it's in stock. And if it's in stock right now, I'll probably get it in the next manga haul. Okay, so this is my first introduction to light novels, you guys. Let me know if you read any light novels and if you wanna recommend me uh, any uh, down below, that would be hip. Okay, moving on to the last volume of the series. You've seen me collect this series. We're already on the sixth volume, which is crazy. I wonder how many we have left. I forget. I'm, it may be 10, it may be 12, I, f I forget. But let's talk about the sixth volume of Knights of Sidonia. These are big old volumes. Uh, I mean, it's literally bigger than my head. Uh, and this is this is the sixth volume of Knights of Sidonia. They are absolutely beautiful. And the size of the volume, really makes it fun to read. Trust me, I'm not like a mech person at all, uh, but this one did catch my eye and continues to keep my attention. So if you're interested in Nice of Sidonia at all, I highly recommend you check it out, okay? All right, ah, let me put this down gently. So this is a lot of manga, okay? I'll be the first one to admit that, but this is of, this is a success on all accounts for me. This is a really good haul. I completed two series, which it just feels great as a creator. I got my first import from Japan, which I'm over the moon that it's a music book. First light novels, hello. Like that's exciting. Dude, on all accounts, this was a really fun haul for me. Uh, and it when I had these boxes just sitting on the floor, I mean, I was just itching to open them. So hopefully you guys got something out of this, okay? All right, so I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you wanna go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and mash that like button down down below it lets me know that you are watching at home and i can continue to make more content just like this and of course as always nothing has changed if you'd like to stick around for more content go ahead and mash that subscribe button we would love to have you here in the community all right you guys thank you so much for watching my name is boogie snacks you can go ahead and call me boogie and i will see you in the next video good night you guys